Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and yesterday Apple finally released Yosemite. We've been waiting for it for a while. I personally have been trying out many of the betas in between, and I found that it looks gorgeous. It's a very stunning visual OS, but I'm just wondering, how did the performance change? Did it get worse or did it get better? So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a couple of tests on the same computer before on Mavericks and after on Yosemite to show you guys the difference between these firmwares. So first off, I am gonna make sure all of my applications are closed down and to let you guys know this is a computer that's completely empty it's just running Mavericks uh, there's really not much on it so I'm gonna go ahead and run Geekbench 3 on it then I'm gonna do a restart test to test how quick it turns off and powers on now general impressions of Yosemite are great Apple has been working on it for a very long time they definitely didn't rush it so they did a great job on it and I gotta say it looks great it's pretty much like iOS 7 on the Mac it's very well optimized and I can't say it has less or more crashing than Mavericks, but so far impressions are great and hopefully after this video I'll be able to differentiate which one is a better performer. All right, and here we are finishing up. So as we can see the results for the single core are 30-30 whereas the multi-core score is 11839. And this is a end of the 2012 MacBook Pro Retina. It has the 2.7 Intel i7 and has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that's, you know, fairly average score, nothing too spectacular, especially now in 2014. But let's go ahead and restart the computer and see how long it takes to do that. Okay, so I've got my timer handy right here. Let's go ahead and click them at the same time. There we go. And off it goes. And one thing to consider is if you're comparing this with your computer, times could be a lot different depending on how much stuff you have on your hard drive. That's a very big impact. But here we go. We're starting up almost there in any second now. And there we go. So 19 and a half seconds, just shy of 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and install Yosemite on the same hard drive, not changing a thing and see how it compares. And boom, done. Aren't you glad you didn't have to wait through that? I mean, it does take actually a very long time, but as you guys can see, I am running OS X Yosemite. Let's go ahead and start that Geekbench. And as we're wrapping the test up right here, let's go ahead and see the results. So we're at 3080 and 11.899. Now, how that compares is, you know, very marginal. There's not that much of a difference. 30.30 versus 30.80, you're not gonna notice that difference unless you're doing something so intensive, and even then it might be just a couple seconds. So, you know, it's not something you're gonna notice on a day-to-day -day usage, but OS X Yosemite in the results is just a little bit better. Now, let's go ahead and perform that shutdown test. So, clicking them at the same time, let's see how this compares to OS X Mavericks. And it's important to consider also that Yosemite does have new features and a whole bunch of other things that it does have added to it. So, it could take a little bit longer to boot because of that. And we should be wrapping this up pretty soon, but it looks like it's gonna be really close. And uh, yeah, definitely a little bit slower. So, it's about one second, a little bit over a second slower. Again, not much of a difference, but the more stuff you have, the more you'll notice the difference between Yosemite and Mavericks. This is a completely wiped MacBook Retina with an SSD. So guys, just a little comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're worried about upgrading Yosemite, don't be. It's a great firmware, and there will be a patch soon to fix any bugs you, know, you might initially encounter. Enjoy your Yosemite upgrade, guys. Peace.